Hey guys, Little V here. Quick little video I wanted to quickly make here. First off, before that though, here's a little room tour. Wow, ignore the bit, ignore the desk, it's really messy and I'm rendering a video and stuff like that. So here's what my office looks like. There you go, you got a quick little glimpse of it. So the thing I want to talk about is this thing behind me right here. This is a vocal booth. And uh, I've made some modifications to it so I can uh, really isolate myself. Now you're probably thinking, why would one need a vocal booth? Um, there's a couple reasons why. Two, in particular with me, is uh, one, uh, you want to basically have the deadest sound possible when recording vocals and voiceover stuff so that you have the most neutral sound to work with that you can manipulate from there. Um, typically what happens is people will record, like for example right now on my phone, uh, you'll hear a lot of extra reverberation off the walls and stuff like that. Whereas if I go in right here, we're going into the madness. Whoa! We're gonna disappear into the ground here. Whoa. So as you notice in here, which you probably can't see me, it is much more dead. It is much. It is. There's no extra reverberation. There's no extra echo. Stuff like that, which is a great recording environment. The other reason. Let me get out of here for a second. The other reason you would use that uh, is also so I don't tick off the neighbors, which it is 12 a.m., so uh, they're probably sleeping, and uh, this is an old building. Um, dates back to the 40s, so the floor and the ceiling are actually a little bit thin. They're not super thick, so you gotta, gotta kind of watch it in the middle of the night and stuff like that. So um, I've already kind of dampened it a little bit, as you can see from there, but, uh, you know, vocal and stuff like that. Won't be doing any, any sort of acoustic recording in the middle of the night. That's not going to happen. But for the day, that's what this is for. So, uh, basically, uh, I have a bunch of extra blankets here to kind of help isolate the sound inside the booth so it doesn't carry as far into the next rooms and stuff like that. It's actually really great on, uh, on, on uh, the actual apartment itself, like you can't really hear it unless I'm really belting in other rooms, but uh, I still haven't checked up and, and below and stuff like that. So what this is, is actually super simple. It's basically the same basic mat you would use for like moving um, and a PVC pipe. Really simple. Uh, you can actually get them in a kit. This is actually part of a kit that was uh, sold on eBay and it's very very simple to assemble and stuff like that. So you can kind of see it's being held together by uh, zip ties and uh, hooks up top but uh, you can't really see that from this angle because I have a bunch of extra things on that. It didn't come with the top and the bottom bit I got those separately, and I also kind of had this come out here as well, too, just to kind of help isolate it and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, the nice thing is it's also super light and compact and portable, which works really well for uh, being able to move it around and stuff like that. I'm probably going to have to end up pulling it out of here or moving it into a different corner or moving the keyboard over when I'm filming and stuff like that, so I have some room to maneuver and stuff like that. But this here is a fantastic solution. If you're looking at doing vocals, say in your home or an apartment or something like that, or voiceover stuff, and it's a pretty cheap solution as well too, and you can basically, like I said, you can basically go and get moving blankets that are do this exact same job and PVC pipe to get a really nice room to record voiceovers and work and stuff like that. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video informative. If you like this kind of stuff I'm doing with this little behind the scenes and bonus extra little stuff like that, please leave a like down below. If you don't, hit the dislike. Don't worry, I have thick skin. I won't get mad at you too much. And as always, rock on. Peace out. We'll see you next time.